So in this series of videos, you're going to get to see us install the septic system at my brother's house. So as you can see in this uh, clip here, my brother was clearing the drain field of all the trees and miscellaneous brush. Yeah, it took him a few days to get that done. He had to take down a dozen or so small trees. Then he moved on to digging the infiltrators. Uh, that first one, the farthest one away, is about 50 feet long, and the next next one in line he's working on there is 55 feet long. Uh, it took him oh maybe three or so days to get all these dug. Um, the septic design drawing calls out the depth that these need to be installed into the ground. So the uphill side, the side closest to the camera, uh, was 8 inches, and the downhill side, farthest away from the camera, was 6 inches. Um, he also went back through and put dirt up against the sides of the infiltrators. It's called the louvers, and there's little slits in the side. And those are required to be covered before the final inspection. So that's what you saw him do a minute ago. And he's installing the third run now, and he's got uh, two more to go. You'll see him get uh, working on that one here. Uh, this goes pretty quick. He's got a laser level out there, and uh, these get installed perfectly flat uh, from one end to the other. It's pretty important that you use a laser level to get them perfectly flat. They, uh, they, if they look close, they don't check, but if they don't look close, they'll check, and the inspector will check, and that doesn't work out well for anybody. So just take your time and make sure they're nice and flat, and you won't have any major issues. Uh, he ended up with 200 and 50, 60 feet if I remember correctly. Now what we're working on here are the inch and a half PVC lines and they have a 3 16th hole drilled every four feet. We've set these in a jig, drilled the holes, brought them back out to the property and we glued them together in 10 foot sticks and then pushed them down the line um, from the farthest end all the way down and then you install 90s and long radius 90s and little caps for the water test, which you'll see later on in the video. But that's pretty much it, and that wraps up the install of the drain field. We got a good portion of the hole dug. Uh, we're probably two feet into the hard pan. So I got my laser level out, we'll get that thing turned on. And we determined that final grade uh, is this red mark on this pipe right here. So we're gonna figure out uh, the inlet entrance for the first tank, which will go in the hole right over here. We need a slope from this pipe. It'll kind of kick down, go underneath of this, and then come across in the 90 into the tank. So we got to figure out all that and get the measurements all taken and so that we can get the tank set in the hole, get the plumbing all uh, hooked up, the inlet pipe, outlet pipe, and then we'll set the next tank in the hole. So I'm going to get this laser screen on, take a couple measurements and see where we're at.
start plumbing the septic tanks. Um, I got Grant out here behind me. There's Grant. He is working on digging the trench for the inlet from the house. So the inlet comes from that uh, double sweep T clean out along that red line to where Grant, about a foot behind Grant, comes through this, which will be a trench when Grant's all done. Goes into that rubble grommet. And then inside of there will be this T assembly, which comes with the tank. And that goes down inside of here like this. Water fills up, well, everything that comes from your house fills up that tank. Goes through that concrete hole in there, if you can see it. Goes into this chamber. And then it goes from this chamber into that chamber. And this is the chamber that the pump will be in. Uh, so Chris right now is getting ready to put the pipe that goes to connect the two tanks together. So he just installed the inlet key from where the house will be going. So that pipe goes up where that white cap is at, which is just stuck on there temporarily. It will be a 90, and the 90 will go over to the house. We'll do a little double 45 or 22 to get down below the drain gutter piping over there. And that will allow everything to come in to the tank, go through the tank, solid stay in this tank because of the filter. And then they go into this tank, and this tank fills up. And right now, Grant is spraying off around the edge so we can do the concrete and silicone. We are making the four inch uh, offset for the supply line that comes out of the house to the tanks. Uh, right now, he's going to go ahead and cut a short piece of this and we'll get a 45 glued on there. And then we will go get ready to uh, install it out there in the uh, mud. <laughs> Should be fun. So, this is the pipe that come that all of his toilets and showers and sinks anything that has water in his house it all drains to here comes out and goes to the septic tank when they install this they test it by plugging everything so they put a little clear plug right here that's glued in place and it's internal and you break it out with a hammer which he's going to do in a couple seconds they test it though by putting all these plugs in and they go on the roof and they find the highest vent point and they put a garden hose in there and they fill the entire system up with water I went upstairs and tapped on some of the pipes. I think water's pretty high in this system, but that's how they test all the joints. So we have to get all the water out, obviously, so that we can glue this to the septic tank. Um, he's going to go ahead and knock out the little plug without damaging too much other stuff. And I'm going to film it. It should be entertaining. So as you can see, there's a lot of water in there. It's all draining out of the house. It's really funny to uh, have somebody do this who's never done it before because they really have no idea what to expect. There we go. Now yeah, we're draining. Got a waterfall. Yeah. Other things to note that we didn't talk about yesterday is that when I was setting my tanks in this hole for the tanks is these massive 11,000 pound cement tanks can actually float. So what we're currently doing is adding water into the pump tank because it's slightly lower than the septic tank which means it's going to fill. So as long as you have enough water that's above the puddle that you have in your septic hole, which I currently have it about a quarter of the way up the tank wall, then your tank won't float. And in the case where we've attached the pipes, if the tanks float, they'll move out of position and possibly break the pipes also. This is that little clear cover I was talking about that he broke this loose which lets all the water out. All the water went out and into his septic tank holes, unfortunately. All right, so now we're going to put uh, a PVC adapter, 3 inch to the 4 inch is going to go to the septic line from the ABS that runs out of the house. We need to get specific glue, the cement glue that actually melts a little bit to make this uh, adhere to the PVC. Because the ABS you can't use a regular rain. So this about wraps up the first video. This first video covered the septic uh, drain field and the tank install. The next uh, video is going to cover the riser, risers being installed on the tanks, some plumbing, and the start of electrical work. 
Uh, some disclaimers, I would not recommend installing a system like this unless you have a fairly strong background in electrical and or plumbing. It's a pretty complicated system and it definitely takes a little bit of knowledge to get where you need to go. Um, you'll be able to see here in the end screens, there will be a link to the next video uh, and a subscribe button. So please uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me uh, fund some of the videos that I am working on. And I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed.